I am once again upset with this game for actually having the nerve to provide content. I have to stifle a smile every time I remember the look on my retainers' faces when I informed them of my plans today. Panic-stricken, but unable to muster the courage to say anything in opposition. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. is an asshole. This was a fine idea. I love him, but he's an asshole. It's fine. I will take him kind of being an asshole. It means he has an actual personality. It's respectable. Alrighty. Gonna be another short, uh, short mellow one tonight. Just doing the next leg of the, uh, the big Inazuma event. That's currently ongoing. Looking forward to more wholesome. Also, I secret. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I thought I was planning to start Persona 2, possibly, but, um, eh, I, I really want to watch the rest of Tiger and Bunny Season 2. <laughs> or the first half of Season 2. <laughs> so this is a good excuse. Just, uh, knock this out real quickly and then go do that. Fuck you, I'm not saving Pallid. Fuck off. I don't even need friendship points anymore, besides for Ayato. <laughs> And I'm not in a hurry because he's fun to use. He might be new main material. Oh, hey, nobody's in here streaming? Oh, she's a bitch. You should not watch her. You should watch me instead. Hey, Janine. But yeah, fuck Pallet. I'm not saving Pallet. We are going to go back to Inazumer. And see who's getting off the boat today. I really fucking wish this teapot maintenance would hurry up. <laughs> the fact that I'm just stuck with that uh, max realm bounty alert constantly. I mean, I could get rid. I could, you know, get rid of it, but it wouldn't be helpful to any of the characters in the teapot. Everybody in there right now is maxed out. So until it actually fucking lets me put Ayato in there, then it's useless. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> teapot means like, what the fuck are they doing? What the fuck was so wrong with the teapot that they need a like several week long maintenance? I've heard some people saying they're doing it to patch out clipping. Like people had found ways to uh, get around the limitations of the teapot by uh, by uh, exploiting clipping issues. A lot of people are saying they're gonna patch that out, but that's fucking rude. Like, come on. You're the ones who af who uh, half-assed things. You're the ones who half-assed things in the first place so that people couldn't do the fun stuff they wanted to do. People found, an, right, people found a way around it. Don't take that away from them, you dicks. The passenger ship from Lyra that we're supposed to meet should be arriving soon. Let's go to the docks. I'm not talking to Otomo. You know that Shinjo will be on board, right? So we should be careful not to say anything about the stolen novels. Yeah, I don't mention that part. I wonder if anyone else... I, I hope it's uh, more than just him. I hope he bought his boyfriend. I hope he bought someone else from Liyue. Your gift sub ran out. You're an Adlin ninja. Hi there. No. You must be visiting from Lyra to participate in the Iridori Festival. We'll be your guides and we'll take you onto the island. About that? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it looks like yeah we're uh, we're under uh, backed up being under a hundred. It looks like a couple of subs ran out. Oh shoot! Happy birthday, Rick! You're old now. Hey, join the club. <laughs> Welcome to the old people club. It's great to have you. I hope you had a good day. Do anything special? Or going to do anything special? It might be earlier in the morning, early in the day for you still. I'm not sure. Huh? Is it Paimon or have we met somewhere before? I mean, Paimon, he's an NPC. We have met at least five other people with this character model, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, in fact, we have. I'm Shu from Feiyun Commerce Guild. Aboard this ship, we have calligraphers, painters, and even players of theater Your day mechanics. only just started, Rick? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Any special plans? The inventor of Theater Mechanicus previously came to the Feiyun Commerce Guild seeking investment. Oh yeah, Theater Mechanicus is Although back. Although the guild manager was not interested, the master still wanted to support them. 
We heard that they'd be demonstrating the game and letting people try Theater Mechanicus at the Iridori Festival. So the guild manager instructed Master and I to take the opportunity to come to Inazuma and investigate the product's potential. Isn't this just fucking Child's voice actor again? <laughs> I might be wrong, but isn't that just Griffin Burns? <laughs> they bought in this asshole instead of Child? Fuck you! Oh, speaking of which, where's the young Master? Ah, well, uh, Master, he's, uh... You've got a cold, so you just said, you know, oh god, I'm sorry to hear that, Rick. <laughs> That's a shitty way to spend it, but at least you're getting good food. I'm glad to hear it. Hope you can at least do that much today. Get some delicious snacks later on. Is it really just you? Why didn't you bring your boyfriend? Oh. It's the Traveler in Paimon. I presume you are guests in Inazuma as well? It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once again. Oh, we aren't actually guests. We're actually guides for the Iridori Festival. How you doing there, little buddy? You seem a little down. Oh, please, no need to worry. I was a little too caught up in a novel on the voyage here. When I finally realized what time it was, the first rays of dawn were already peeking over the horizon. Uh, yes, now that we've arrived, the Conjo Commission will likely wish to inspect our invitation letter. Let's keep it in hand, shall we? His aunt wouldn't know how to get him a pass, Shenhei. I mean, I don't think, uh, Shenhei's trailer aside, I don't think she has uh, any actual authority on him. I don't think she, like, she's a legal guardian. <laughs> she wouldn't have any say on whether or not he gets to leave. <laughs> Huh? That's odd. What's wrong, little boy? There was a piece of paper underneath my bag. Strange. I don't recall <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We could have stowed him away in the truck. Ooh, let Paimon have a look! Oh, another one of the, uh, the poems. <gasps> There's no doubt about it. It's from the same series as the story we found before! Even the handwriting looks exactly the same! The story you found before? Oh, yeah! In the warehouse, down by the... Uh, by the... The poem hunt competition! <laughs> <laughs> Horrified, Lumine. Uh-oh. What? Lumine, what's wrong with your nose? <laughs> you see that shit? <laughs> the shaders can't deal with her nose <laughs> with her, uh... <laughs> the shading program they use doesn't know how to deal with her face moving like that. Oh, no. Yeah, that's it! <laughs> A friend of ours is on retail to paint portraits of the five Kassen. You know, as part of the Iridori You took a screenshot Festival. of that face, thank the you. <laughs> stories about the five Kassen have been hidden in various places nearby. If you can find one of the stories and give it to this friend of ours, then there's a chance you'll become the model for the next portrait. Even her nose is shocked. Wait a moment. So <laughs> you mean that... I need to go back and make an anim- I- I- I'll- I'm gonna fucking- if I can remember, slash half the time, I'm gonna go back and make an animated gif out of that, uh, that face and her nose moving around and make that a, uh, an animated emote on Twitch. <laughs> uh, hey! It's hard coming up with stuff on the spot like that! Eh, it's fine. There's a chance of meeting Kelks in person? Uh... Huh? Oh, uh... Oh, yeah. are you a fan? Oh. Really? That's wonderful! I knew that Calx would attend the Irodori Festival, but convincing my father to let me come to Inazuma was proving to be quite the high hurdle. I had to really rack my mind to come up with the excuse of evaluating the investment value of Theater Mechanicus. Every time they say the name of the festival, I keep hearing Itadori because of Jujutsu Kaisen, and it's kind of driving me insane. Just a few days later, word then came that Calx would be busy painting portraits of the five Kassen during the festival. It is a most rare opportunity for both Calx and I to be in Inazuma together, but it seemed he would be too busy with the portraits to meet with me. So, I felt quite disappointed for some time now. Don't worry, Shincho. Even though Calx has work to do, he still has time to see friends. We can take you to see him right now. You tagged me and got the impact. Thank you, Secret. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Why is Ayato so fun? He's great. Like, he, uh, he might... He, he is dangerously close to, like, being tied with Raiden to, like, be my main at this point. His playstyle is so much fucking fun. I say playstyle, but it's so basic. 
<laughs> Literally just uses burst, uses elemental skill and hold the button. <laughs> and just watch numbers go burr. <laughs> also, we heard that Calx did illustrations for your A Legend of Sword novel. Ah, so you've already heard. To be honest, my works have drawn little interest in Liyue. However, the novels are selling quite well in Inazuma with the help of Calx's beautiful illustrations. Calx is not only a skilled artist. It's the swag factor. It's yeah, exactly like it's the way he alacrity. carries himself. <laughs> I heard that it took him merely a few hours to finish the illustrations for the latest chapter. He has such he has such good Virgil energy. <laughs> Who knew swish 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 slash could be that fun? But when I looked at the art, the brushwork <laughs> he's basically a hack and slash character. Brushed. His work is truly exquisite. He hits way harder. He's oh he's your hard hitter yeah <laughs> we'll go burr oh, oh, oh you're talking about Ita yeah Ita's a lot of fun too away there. let us depart Come I wish now. that G I wish that Geo wasn't quite so uh so clicky and could be used easier with other characters because I'd love to use him and Ayato on a team but I don't think you could really get too many good team comps going with them you could make it work like they both hit hard and that's all you really need but <sighs> there's no real synergy okay, the idea of needing Albedo managed to draw Shincho's attention and keep the situation under wraps. Let's just hope we don't let anything slip while meeting Albedo. Paimon forgetting to stick to a cover story? Oh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Waifu time! Thus far, we only thus far the only new character is uh Shincho. Don't think he's anybody's waifu, but hey, I won't judge. He is very pretty. <laughs> I'm hoping more people show up. At the very least, some Inazuma characters. Like, again, I feel like Ito has to show up. It's a goddamn festival. The idea that Ito wouldn't show up to a festival is laughable. Bennett is best waifu. Well, obviously. That's just because Bennett is best everything. <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, how are you? And who is this accompanying you? I continue to just be fa fascinated by the fact that all of the... All of the most consistently good content in Genshin involves Klee, Albedo, or both. <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but it happened. You must be Calx. It's a great pleasure to finally meet you. I am the author of A Legend of Sword, Gen... Uh, forgive me. It's rude of me to introduce myself by my pen name when meeting in person. Oh. Please. Call me Sinchu. Oh, hey, he's using his pen name, too. Also, yeah, for those who did not join us for Tiger Buddy Season 2, the first six episodes, yeah. Uh, Paimon's voice actress, Karina Boetker, she voices one of the new characters in that show. And is teamed up with another girl voiced by Morgana's voice actress. <laughs> so that's been pretty fun. And you may call me Albedo, then. Aww. No, Friends. no. That would be most improper. Why not? Seeing as we're both friends of the Traveler... It'd be more convenient for us to use our real names. Besides, we've already corresponded with each other many times before. In fact, I feel a bit self-conscious seeing you act so politely. Your partner watches that. They've told you there's a they them. Oh yeah, there there is there actually is Goggle. Yeah, yeah, Nathan, aka Fire Emblem. Yes, that is their hero name. <laughs> I don't know how they got away with it, but yeah, unironically a fantastic character. Genuinely some of the best LGBT representation I have seen in any anime. Mo especially in the uh the movie. The movie act one of the movies actually delved really deeply into their backstory. It's super great. <laughs> it's not just you, Albedo. We haven't seen Chincho act this awkward before either. Do not ship Morgana and Paimon, that's cursed. Uh, um, you guys, it's certainly not good taste for you two to be teasing me like that. Oh, by the way. We happened to find a story from the poem hunt competition at the docks. I heard that you are collecting them. Hmm? Poem hunt? Uh, you know, that thing where we have to find pieces of paper with stories of the five cousin? Uh, Denti found one, and then he was allowed to be a model for one of your portraits. <laughs> huh? Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> Thank God he's smart. Thank God he's smart enough oh, to immediately catch on to the fact that it's a cover story. Thank you. That's very helpful. Yeah, there's a, uh, yeah, there's a 
It, it's it's actually not. I I say they them just to be safe, because like they refer to themselves as a woman most of the time. So uh, it, it, it's it's a it's it's admittedly slightly confusing. Not helped by the issue of you know language barriers and how it how it's translated sometimes. But yeah, Tiger Bunny is a real treat. Anyone who has not checked that out, it has a uh, it has a they them. It has a himbo named Keith, uh, who now has two dogs, John and John John, because he's very good at naming things. It has a Russian weeaboo ninja themed superhero. It's got a himbo dad. It's 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 a treat. It also has big gay energy across the board. Splendid. Though, I'm still piecing together the story myself. Would you kindly explain it to me in more detail? If all of you are free, why don't we discuss this over a meal? <laughs> it has Golden Ryan, who's kind of a fuck, but we love him for it. <laughs> uh, well, about that. Do you have other plans, Shinjo? Uh, no, no, not at all. Speaking of dining, Shimura's unagi chasuke is quite delicious. Would you like to go there? God, I haven't had unagi in so long. Oh, I've got, I've got to treat myself and get sushi when I actually have money again. Shimura's. Uh, unfortunately, today is a bit windy. Uh, how about Uyu Restaurant instead? What does the wind have to do with anything? Oh, is it outdoors? It's probably outdoors. That's perfectly fine with me. But I must first unpack my luggage. Let's meet later at Uyu Restaurant. Hmm. Something didn't quite add up just now. Huh? No way! I'm on Big Sweet at Pinball together! Oh, do we say something we weren't supposed to? I think he's talking about Shingjo. He was being kind of weird there towards the end. I have no idea why he would be, but again, you know them hydro units. <laughs> no, Paimon, I'm not referring to us. Traveler, what are your thoughts? Shingcho sus! Huh? Shingcho suspicious? Hey, what are you two talking about? I think he might be a changeling. Paimon, you read the poem, right? Although it may seem confusing to Shingcho on its own, what if we read it together with a previous poem we found? Read them together? Hmm, let's see. Suiko lost Aoi no Okina's poem in a drunken stupor. Aoi no Okina recovered the poem and gave it to some mysterious person. <laughs> Another doppelganger? It's subject to. <laughs> it's fucking subject to disguised as Shing Show instead of Albedo. Huh? Wait a minute. Could today's story be hinting that the one who stole the latest copies of A Legend of Sword is Shing Show himself? <gasps> but he just got here, right? No way! That can't be right! Shinjo only arrived in Inazuma this morning! Maybe I teleported. And that is precisely the point of suspicion. If Shinjo had only just arrived in Inazuma, how could he recommend Shimura's Chazuke? Moreover, he didn't raise any questions when I suggested another place because of the windy weather. This means he knows that Shimura's is an open-air restaurant. Albedo would be so fucking good at Among Us. Shinjo has already been in Inazuma for some time, and that he's only pretending he just arrived? Yes, that is indeed my conclusion. But how could Shinjo be the book thief? His mission is to fight for justice, isn't it? There's no way he'd do something against his own ideals. Uh, calm down, Paimon. Even though this is the first time I've met Shinjo in person, we've communicated via letters for some time now. I do have some understanding of his character. I think there must be some deeper motive. <laughs> I was gonna here. say, yeah, ironic because the there actually is uh, archives of the Genshin the voice actors playing Among Us. <laughs> I'd be curious to see how <laughs> Albedo's <laughs> did. It's difficult to say at this point, but given that Uyu Restaurant is indoors, it'll be easy for us to detect anyone following or eavesdropping on us. I think it should be safe for us. To talk hey, I've never there. watched a full playthrough. I've just seen like a couple of clips out of context. To get to the What's butt stuff in JC and or egg fragging? Same difference. Got Good. it. Then let's head to Uyu. Shincho sus. We think Shincho may have stolen his own books for reasons oh. known only to the author. Oh, that restaurant's way up here. Nope. Not walking. 
I don't like to see Ayato walk that much. He's got a butt cape. You can't even see the goods. You can't even see the cake. You can't see any character's cake for the most part. This game really, really likes butt capes and baggy clothes. <laughs> Back I talking about. Around. It seems clear for the moment. But window for Ayato? Yes. Sinjo. Where do I sign? CCP noises. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's here? it's a way to get around First, it. We must ascertain whether Shinsha was already in Inazuma or not. If we can find evidence, it is a good way to get around the censorship issues. We can use it as leverage to persuade him to tell us the truth. Since we're still waiting for him, why don't you go and chat with other guests in the restaurant and see if you can learn anything useful? Oh, I don't want to talk to NPCs. I want to talk to my daughter and Yoimiya and Ito, Ayato more. I climbed the walls in frustration riding get out. <laughs> Hello there, what can I get for you? Hi, do you have any special recommendations today? Why, of course. I personally recommend our freshly caught seafood. It's been mm. pouring these past few days, so the fishing boats haven't been able to sail at all. Oh, stop making but me hungry. I love seafood. Today, so we have some fresh catch. I love seafood, and all I've had to eat today were some nacho fries. <laughs> Don't talk to me about seafood right now. So the weather at sea has been bad these past few days? It sure has. A few guests from Liyue were just telling me that their boat was heaving and rolling all the way here. They couldn't do anything but sleep the entire trip. I'm shocked they were even able to sleep if it was that bad. Oh, this might be some useful information. All right, we're playing Ace Attorney now. There's clue one. Here's clue two. The last phase of the Iridori Festival is when they released the all-new publications. The one I'm really looking forward to is a Legend of Sword. That's right. A signed first edition is going to become quite the Your dramatic. mouths aren't moving. I've got to get my hands on a copy. Your mouths aren't moving. I've seen Gen Yu's signature before. There we go. His handwriting is super neat. He must be really diligent about his style. You do want to model Ayaka's OG panties instead of granny panties, but you'll be banned if you attempt it, most likely. <laughs> it's fine. The granny panties add character. Granny panties are valid, okay? He'll be there in person on the day of the release, so we'll get a good look at him then. I wear I granny panties. Pretty young. Wait a minute. Did you just hear that? Not only will Shincho be signing novels at the release, but his handwriting is super neat? Hmm. Albedo, what should we talk about when Shincho gets here? Any ideas? Hmm. I will try to break the ice by talking about our work on novels and illustrations. If he really is hiding something, then he might feel even more nervous than we do. If we start by talking about our work creating novels, perhaps he will lower his guard. Oh, come to think of it, Shincho mentioned that he'd like to thank you for finishing the illustrations on time. He said they looked amazing despite the time you had. Is that so? Hmm. That is also a very valuable clue. If you want to order. Shinjo arrive shortly mm, after. Take our word delicious. for it. Walking animations are hard. Inazuma cuisine largely consists of fresh seafood, which is certainly to my liking. <laughs> That's good. We were worried you might not have an appetite because you didn't sleep well. Now's our chance. Let's talk to Shinjo and see if he says anything useful. Maybe we could start by asking him about the journey. Hmm. Hey, uh, did you have a window view? To be honest, there wasn't much to see. Just water all around, morning to night. The sheer monotony of the trip caused everyone to grow a little impatient. So, when the peak of Mount Yogo finally appeared in the distance as we approached the islands of Inazuma, 
Everyone crowded the deck to have a look. However, the ship sailed along at a crawling pace. It took a whole day from the time we saw the mountain peak to the time we docked. Paimon didn't catch anything suspicious so far. No, actually, there was. Uh-oh, this really is Ace Attorney. Tell me what it was, I don't know. Oh, right! If it took an entire day to reach the docks, then it would have been pouring rain at the time they saw the top of the mountain. Oh, okay. We learned a couple of things from his account, but we still require more evidence. Let's discuss creating novels with Xingqiu. While it is entertaining to read novels, writing one is an endeavor of its own. You must give great thought to every detail. Yonfe was literally and proving herself a right-worth child. That was great. And even when you have I miss Yonfe. interesting content, there's still no guarantee that it will be to your life. She needs to be in more content again soon. I couldn't agree more. Or a hangout event. Whether it's writing a book, creating art, or studying alchemy... <laughs> I was gonna say, we are not really talking nearly quiet enough <laughs> delving into the work. for him to not be able to hear us. Xingqiu and Albedo are getting into some deep topics now. But nothing suspicious has come up. Talk about the pictures, then. Speaking of illustrations, Albedo, I've long wished to express my sincerest gratitude Also, I guess I picked the right the one on the first try. <laughs> I expected to die. I expected to have to cycle well through all of them. Lila. So I must admit that I had some reservations regarding Unless we go back to the first branch or something. Yet you've consistently managed to select the most important scene of the chapter for your illustrations. This made me feel as though what I was trying to express could be understood after all. Uh, thank you. However, I took some risks in the illustrations, so I'm feeling You picked the same one, Rick, so you don't know. Yeah, I'm curious now. I'm gonna start picking this. Uh, I'm gonna start picking the first option, no matter what, and just assume that the last ones are all the correct ones. <laughs> or some shit. illustrations are typically centered around the characters, but this time, I adopted a different approach in the illustration for the last chapter. Well, that scene was intended to depict the change in the world, so I thought it very fitting to draw only scenery. Hmm. Doesn't sound like anything suspicious has come up so far. Okay, so this is just a no, dead end. There was a crack in his alibi. My illustrations were sent for printing <gasps> the moment they arrived in Inazuma. So logically, he's smarter speaking, than us. There's no way he could possibly know what the illustrations look like. It's been 20 years for Kingdom Hearts. God, I'm old. Uh, Xingqiu, we have something very important to ask you now. Oh, why the solemn looks all of a sudden? Xingqiu. Are you a changeling? We're gonna have to cut open your palm to make sure you're not a changeling. If you believe that means you're real. Huh? I'm afraid I don't follow. Mr. Okazaki told us earlier that actually the weather at sea was very bad. Um, actually. So when you said that everyone came running to the deck to see Mount Yogo, that couldn't have happened. On top of that, the latest installment of A Legend of Sword will only be revealed at the Irodori Festival. Even we, the creators, haven't received a sample copy. And if that's the case, how could you know what my illustrations look like? Uh, uh, well... The jig's up, Xingqiu. You were already in Inazuma before today, weren't you? Are you in some kind of danger but can't tell us the truth? Don't worry, the Traveler and Albedo are no pushovers. We can help you! So uh... no, no, please. You must understand. Twenty years me. should probably procreate too, but do you ever feel like I a JC valid? Sleep is inevitably taking its toll on my mind. I didn't notice for a moment that you were testing me at all. I did, in fact, come to Inazuma early to handle some things. Let me consider how to explain this. I was gonna say, what's the point of lying? Why are you being oh, this sus, is boy? Most embarrassing. Oh, well, uh oh. <laughs> oh no. I uh -oh. didn't expect to see everyone here. <laughs> he fucking walks in and Seinfeld music starts playing. Oh shit, I took it off my soundboard. That's right, because the copyright police don't like the Seinfeld theme playing. <laughs> Damn it. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> he, if, if Genshin were a sitcom, Venti would be the Kramer of the show. He just walks in and the studio audience, yeah! Woo! Brain holes! Huh? Tone deaf bard, what are you doing here? Genshin Impact is filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> I heard that the owner of this establishment has some fine-aged wines. I didn't want to miss the opportunity to taste them. Of fucking course that's what you're here for. I don't know why anyone would ever expect anything differently, Venti. Hmm. Paimon knew you couldn't possibly be up to anything good. 
says who? In fact, I come as the bearer of good tidings. You desk for another with the water boys to appear and they both look at each other. The only other water boys are uh Ajax and Ayato. <laughs> I don't think Ajax is gonna show up. I wish he would, but I don't think that that's that doesn't seem realistic to expect. I just bumped into Kujo Sara a moment ago. She said that the Tenryo Commission has apprehended the criminal who stole all those copies of a legend of sword. Oh, she's you good. You needn't worry fast. about it any longer. Oh, like a clone? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh? The criminal who stole a legend of sword? Episode title, Venti Feld. Uh, did I say something I shouldn't have? Uh-oh. Oh, no. The person they apprehended. Was it by chance an editor named Onodera? You scary! Apologies, Kujo Sara didn't mention a name, but I saw her taking someone toward Hanamizaka. Everyone, it's too late to explain. We must make haste and rescue Onodera. Everybody loves Venti. Sara, it's okay. Onadera is guilty of a lot of things. But being a thief is not one of them. He's just a terrible character. It's okay. Onadera. <laughs> Decayed. That's the, uh, that's the Kamen Rider Kuga XP from Decayed. Instead of Yusuke Godai, it was Yusuke Onadera. He was a complete waste of space. Please, wait. Onodera is innocent. You found some good, uh, some more good faces, Ninja. What'd you got? <laughs> cut Aether. <laughs> Aether's cut face is just as good as Lumine's. Perturbed Paimon. Thousand yard gaze, Yanfei. I have that one. Smug Paimon. Smug Paimon. <laughs> good. Very good. All oh. of these. So you must be the author of A Legend of Sword. I didn't expect to see others tagging along with you. Anyway, you mustn't take him away. I can explain everything. No need to worry, Zhenyu. I've just explained everything to Madame Kujo, and Kuroda has testified for me. Yes. Be careful with spam. Fact, oh, that's all right. We were just getting ready to leave. Not oh, too many. Livestream chat's pretty slow. A relief. Hmm. Wait a minute. Yeah, good. Does everyone else here already know? <laughs> uh oh. <clears throat> well, to be precise, we had dispatched two additional squads here in order to prevent the suspect from escaping. Uh. <laughs> Shinjo looks pretty flustered. What exactly is going on here? Something to do with your signature? Uh, ahem. Though it's most embarrassing. It appears quite a few people are aware of the situation now. There's no use keeping it a secret. In the end, I'm the one responsible for this whole predicament. No, Jen Yu. It's only appropriate that I take responsibility for this. Everyone, please let me explain. For the Iridori Festival, I recommended the idea of selling newly released novels signed by the authors. Not only was this the first major project I was in charge of since you uploaded them all once you want to hear a machine gun of Discord beef, fair also enough. Gave me a lot of support. However, I did not discuss our plans with the authors in advance. As a result, it caused a great deal of trouble for Gen Yu. Yes, to be frank, calligraphy is not my strong point, so signing events are really not my forte. Even though such an event will be difficult for Gen Yu, after telling him how important the plans were to me, he immediately boarded a ship to Inazuma to come up with a solution. So these past few days, Jin Yu has been actively practicing his handwriting. However, it takes time to sign each book, and we realized the time we reserved for the signing was not nearly enough. So I came up with the idea of moving the new books from the warehouse to my place. That way, Jin Yu could use these few days to sign them all. I thought everything would work out without a hitch. I never expected that someone would immediately realize that the books were missing from the warehouse. <laughs> to make things worse, I was on vacation and staying with Gen Yu in my house these past few days. I had no idea that the situation had turned into such a huge mess. <sighs> All of this happened because I wanted to prove myself through this event. Onodera, 
I agreed to your proposal because I didn't want the readers to know of my unsightly handwriting. Also, I knew that Onodera had been misled by one of my prior signatures. At a previous event, the Yai Publishing House had requested autographs of authors so that they could be put on display. I practiced tirelessly for an entire day to finally deliver a stylish and elegant signature for the event. But looking back on it now, I had dug myself into a hole by delivering that nice signature for the sake the, of my the pride. The interesting piece of, of the cast hey, is being on, balanced out by this, <laughs> pretty much. The theft was nothing more than a simple misunderstanding. Besides, everyone has something. You know what makes this even better, Clee? Yeah, that's right. All that matters is that Shincho and his book. Where is my baby? Onodera, I think you should explain the truth regarding the stolen books to the rest of the people on Rito. Yes, I understand. I'll apologize to everyone. We should probably be heading back to Rito as well. I assume Let's you and me is babysitting. But nonetheless. I wish to see my daughter. Please. Please. Where's my baby? Where's my baby? Lucian boils down to an explosion. Oh, always. Oh, no, Dara. Yo, cheekbones. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be on leave these few days? I'm very sorry for all the trouble that I've caused. Yes, Onodera, but why didn't you tell everyone earlier? If you had told us, we could have thought of some ways to help you. That's right. We're a team, and we should be helping each other in tough situations like this. Let's leave the past behind us now. Our first priority is to help Gen Yu with his signatures. How is your progress so far? My progress is not what I had hoped for. Even after working through the night these past few days. So we can be here for some while, like just like in the lantern, right? Yeah, yeah. Signatures. Just oh, even more cameos. No wonder looked so sleepy today. I understand. Murata, go back to Yai Publishing House and get Aratani to book a room on the second floor of the Uyu restaurant. We'll be using it for Gen Yi's emergency calligraphy lessons. Yes, Mr. Hiriyama. It just so happens that my brother is a calligrapher. Should I ask him to lend his assistance as well? Yes, good idea. Ah, you've just reminded me. Two calligraphers from Liyue arrived today. We've worked with them before, so I'll go and ask them to help out too. It seems I'm really in for it now. No need to worry, Zhen Yu. I'm sure you can do it. Didn't you finish the last chapter of your novel in just one week's time? Yes, but writing novels and learning calligraphy are two entirely different skills. Even though Sing Cho still has to deal with this handwriting issue, Paimon somehow feels a little relieved now. I always used to prefer working alone. <laughs> so Shing Cho is skilled at actually writing. Like he, he makes good stories, others, but his actual his handwriting is garbage. We also owe a special ode of gratitude to the mysterious person who has been leaving. I feel like that's probably a pretty common issue. Huh? You mean whoever left behind those stories about the five Kassen? Pardon me, but what are you talking about? Right, we haven't had a chance to explain things to Shinkyo yet. I see. It appears that Onodera and I were spotted when we were moving the books. Albedo, may I ask you one thing? Are you able to include me in a portrait as well? Not only do I owe the successful resolution of today's incident to that story, but I also hope that I'll remember this lesson. No problem. Considering the similarities between the portrait and the events that have taken place, your proposal is very reasonable. All the grace points got poured into his sick backflip. <laughs> that figure was none other than Aoi no Okina himself. This turn of events had begun with an unnamed individual. Aww. Under whose coercion, Aoi no Okina was forced to take drastic measures to Aww, return nice to the Aww, nice loser. He knew nothing of this individual's true intentions. All he knew was that the poem had to do with an old acquaintance, Akahito.
Oh, I like how the texture took a second to load in. <laughs> He's adorable. Wonder how Shincho's calligraphy training is going at Uyu Restaurant. Hey, do you think whoever left those stories for us could be hiding somewhere nearby? It's possible. You can draw humanoid figures, but when it comes to objects and backgrounds, you do a shit job. Oh, same, JC, yeah. No, exact same problem. Like, I explicitly say no backgrounds on my commission sheet because I'm so bad at them. <laughs> like, I can do it if I really need to, at least hand draw. And, like, I, if I tried to digitally do one and replicate it, it'd end really badly. Like, I was pretty good at painting them in all my uh, my college art classes, but, like, eh, I'm, I'm not confident. It's possible. Oh, hello? Mr. Story Writer? Are you here? Uh, could you please help Chincho with something? You just can't write a cursive due to your shitty handwriting, Rick. I'm the opposite. My writing skills are shit. My, like, actual, like, you know, coming up a diet, like, that, that shit, but my actual handwriting is actually very nice because I, I think I've mentioned this before, but, um, I went to a Catholic school where I was forced to learn, uh, to learn cursive in second grade. <laughs> And just kind of had that, you know, beaten into my head throughout uh, the time I was still in Catholic school. <laughs> to the point that I actually cannot write in regular uh, handwriting, at least not very well. He's a friend of ours, and the release of his new book is super important to him. Oh, what's that sound? Oh my god, it was a cat all along. I fucking knew it. <laughs> it was just a cat. Looks like we can't make them reveal themselves that easily. It's getting late now. But let's go back and get some rest. We still have to go to the docks and wait for another ship tomorrow morning. Who was it, actually? Hmm. Hmm. Those look like NPC pants. I don't know. I don't think that's... Those, those aren't Ito's pants. There's no way those are Ito's pants. Also, Theater Mechanicus is back. Thank God. What do Ito's pants look like again? Yeah, no, that's no, that's not Ito's pants. <laughs> I don't know who that was. Centuries, but human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. It makes sense. The storyteller has bad Transitory. handwriting. Oh, Yasuhiro has beautiful handwriting, but he's a drug addict. You can kind of draw, but you hate your handwriting. Drawing muscle. Find flow and shading body on someone else's work. Ah, yeah, everyone has their strong points. NPC pants. <laughs> You've heard of MCP pants. Now try N N NPC pants. There's another voice quest here. Uh, which one? Is it the Theater Mechanicus one or is it something else? Oh, I bet it's this one. Yeah, that's the Klee one, so this one. There we go. Stop! Cheddar time! Oh, 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 oh. My, 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 my dialogue makes you so bored. Makes me say, oh my lord, thank you for droning on for hours at a time. At a... I, I can't, I, I don't know the actual lyrics enough to do it, but there you go. There's something. I say I'm bad at writing, but I'm actually relatively decent at coming out with bullshit parody lyrics on the spot. So many complaints. What should I do? Ah, oh, are you the traveler who my superior said would come and help us out? You came at the perfect time. We're facing a small problem here. As you know, the Iridori Festival is underway. In addition to all the things on sale, there's a lot of free entertainment programs available. But today, we received numerous complaints that a group of people have been hogging the Tanuki photo board. They won't leave so no one else gets to use it. <sighs> what a headache. Can you arrest them? <laughs> Can you arrest them for standing too long in front of a photo thing? <laughs> uh, can we scare them away? Well, we tried talking to them, but the original point of these entertainment facilities was to let people freely enjoy the festival. So in principle, it's open to everyone. And there's no time limit on usage. This means that as long as they haven't done anything technically illegal, even if they keep hogging it, there is nothing we can do. So, can you... 
Try negotiating with them. Who would? Us. I'm trying to think of who would if do these this. Complaints can't be resolved, and Madame Cujo finds out. Sayu would make sense I'll because lose my Tanuki. Bonus this month for sure. But why would Sayu do <laughs> that? Something like that. Ito? Would Ito do it just to be a dick? <laughs> Ito might so do it much. just to be a dick. You'll find them by the Tanuki photo board just east of the square. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? I see him! I know those! I know those pants anywhere! I just looked at him. This is about. Yeah! It's his gang. Is Shinobu gonna be here? I wonder if we'll get a sneak preview of Shinobu. Or is it just his NPC squad? Hey, yeah, hey, damn it. Traveler, Paimon, what's happening? Hey, boy! Oh, you came here for the Iridori Festival too? Oh, see, I knew it. Great minds think alike, huh? Oh my fucking god, I missed you. <laughs> Oh, you're such a child. Yeah, ain't it great? Also, no, child's child's not in this event, I don't think. We're here to take care of a little problem. Yo, yo, right. Yeah, well, who's got a problem? The Arataki gang considers it our born duty to help those in need. <laughs> what if I told you that you're the problem? Wait, huh? <laughs> What's bonkin', Traveler? What the is wrong with you? The Arataki gang is the problem. The Terrio Commission said you guys have been hogging the photo board and nobody else has had a chance to use it. Oh, uh, well, no, we haven't. <laughs> do you really have nothing better to do? Is Ayato too busy to beetle fight with you right now? Oh, uh, it's kind of a long story. Uh, hey, Mamoru, you're up. Explain the situation to these good people. No, I want you to say words, not your NPC friends. Yes, boss. Eh, yeah, fuck you, Mamoru. The story starts two months ago, when we first found out about the Iridori Festival. As everyone knows, this is a festival all about showcasing culture, with books on all kinds of topics on display and for sale. Our boss is very forward-thinking. He thought we should seize this golden opportunity to publish some material introducing the Arataki gang and help craft a glorious public image. Oh, no. He also said we can make some money out of it to support ourselves. What does that have to do with hogging a fucking photo board? <clears throat> uh, well, that wasn't the main reason, obviously. Of course that was your main reason. <laughs> At first, we had plenty of time. In two months, Boss planned to write 60 pages. How many did he actually write? Anyone want to take any bets on how much he actually wrote? I'm going to say two. But one month in, and he'd written a grand total of <laughs> one line. I overreached. Well, I mean, come on. You got to make sure the quality is up to scratch. <laughs> one sentence. <laughs> Me and Gamrick both said two, but the actual answer is not even one sentence. Uh, best mind of his generation, everybody. More like worst procrastinator ever. <laughs> Rick thought none. <laughs> I was like, ah, that's too low. He had to have done something. Even if it was just a trawling of dick butt, that would have technically been something. So we cut some of the planned content and figured it would still be fine if we could put out 20 pages in the next month. <laughs> Ninja was the closest. <laughs> but the Good job. after that... The boss got a hold of this card game called Genius Invocation TCG. Everyone loved it! Oh my fucking god, we're actually playing Yu-Gi-Oh now. It's not SpongeBob meme of just a pretty not a single page, exactly. Oh my god. Please tell me someone's redrawn that. It felt like we only played a few rounds, but before we knew it, half a month had gone by. I'm telling you, this game, it's pretty incredible. Is that the SpongeBob gif? Yep. <laughs> yep. I was just gathering inspiration for my writing. What? I get it, Ito. I love Yu-Gi-Oh too, but please. <laughs> he was playing Master Duel. <laughs> Fucking Master Duel came out. He's been addicted. Sure you were. Inspiration that has absolutely nothing to do with what you were writing about. So then we only had two weeks left. No way was that going to be enough time to publish a book. I still really want him to meet Clee. <laughs> 
I do want to see if Klee likes him. Her only bet, the only person she has, Klee does not love thus far is Deluke, and it's because he's a grumpy pants. Any money says she will get along well with Ito. Boss said we should just make a colorful flyer instead. He that plays way, Junk Warrior and doesn't realize that's why he's not doing well. <laughs> Even worse, he's an anime fan. He's a Yu-Gi-Oh anime fan. So he tries to play based off of the season one duel, uh, duel monsters rules. <laughs> he thinks that you're allowed. He doesn't realize that you can't summon a, a summon a uh, a six to eight star monster without a sacrifice or two. <laughs> that makes more sense. It shouldn't take too long to think of a slogan, right? I can't say I can't make fun of that though. That was me when I first picked up the game. I just watched the anime. I'm like, oh, this seems pretty straightforward. Oh, oh no. No, it's not. What's bugging, Klee? You're even more cringe than Deluke. <laughs> yeah, it didn't take long at all. We came up with 30 slogans between us in just half a day. Are all of those slogans just, like, chicken scratch? Like how I used to cheat on my essays in middle school? Because <laughs> my teachers didn't know how to read cursive? <laughs> I did that shit. Once I did, once I did start public school... I very quickly realized that cursive was no longer required. So on days I was feeling fucking lazy and just didn't feel like dealing with shit, I would just kind of scribble stuff on uh, on English assignments <laughs> and then still get a fucking A somehow. <laughs> Which means that they straight up couldn't read it. <laughs> oh, fuck public school. But 30 was too many, and we couldn't agree with each other on which one to use. It took us a week to make the final decision. That was when we realized we'd have to pay an expensive express fee for the printing, because there was so little time left. Yeah, they either couldn't, I mean, they either, they either couldn't read it, or they, like, weren't actually grading the papers, like, they fucking gave everyone an A. I'm not sure which it was. <laughs> I didn't dare try to ask. <laughs> I just tried not to laugh too hard when I got it back. It was like, okay, sure, buddy. And we couldn't afford it. You gotta take it slow if you want to do something well. Pay an express fee and they're gonna do a rush job, and <laughs> then there's gonna be all sorts of problems. The Arataki gang only puts out the very best into the world, and that is why I decided to give up on that project. Whatever makes you happy, you're doing great, sweetie. School. Hey, li right, JC? It's literally, it's, it's so pointless. Literally just a memory game. A very long, very boring memory game. Nothing that you learn there will actually end up mattering for the most part beyond the very, very basics. And you can learn those from other places. That, yep. Well said. You gotta do what keeps you happy. Same goes for humans and Oni alike. You'd get an F and a rewrite this for that, Rick. <laughs> but it's not every day that you get to go to an Iridori festival, right? So priority number one right now is enjoying ourselves to the mo 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 max I love you. Um, also emotional. Oh, yeah, the emotional trauma, yeah. Yep, just r a really shitty way to learn stuff and a lot of emotional trauma. That's all school is. And the way you chose to enjoy yourselves was to commandeer a novelty photo board? <laughs> um, so, at first, Boss brought us here to buy some drinks. He said there was some sort of Iridori Festival limited edition soft drink available. Oh, my fucking God. That's right. This ain't no ordinary drink either. It's a special edition. It's the birthday cake shake from Zaxby's and Yai Publishing House, as featured in the popular novel Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. One, the delay on his expressions with the actual dialogue was really bad. Two, of fucking course you read cringe ass modern manga with overly long titles. Of course you do. I can't pretend to be surprised by this information. I wish the text box would get out of my way so I could take the picture of the stars in your eyes. Uh, what? I really wish this game had a hide text feature. But when we got to the festival, the staff wouldn't let us in because of our unusual outfits. It would make getting thumbnails so much easier. They said we had to show up looking like our normal selves before they'd let us in. Literally, what is strange about your outfits? You're wearing generic NPC clothes and some hats. We'd invested a lot of time and money into the way we looked. And then they accused us of spoiling the image of the city. You look like everyone else! 
One thing led to another, and by the time we finally got to Sailing Breeze's booth, all the drinks were sold out. We were pretty disappointed, but there was nothing we could do. Then we saw this photo board on the way back. Boss said we can't let the trip go to waste, so... So you decided to take over the whole area for your own use? <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, was it just a place that had an indoor hat policy? You can't wear your hats inside? <laughs> just fucking take your hats off, Five Head! We put a lot of effort into the way we look. It's a hat! Take it off! <laughs> I beg to differ. It's public property. We didn't commandeer anything. Now one of us is gonna have to change. We're just making sure public resources get used to the max. Yeah, boss is right. We're the ones making the most out of this thing. Never let a single moment in your life go to waste. That's our policy in the Arataki gang, and we're out here making sure this photo board gets the most out of its lifespan, too. Oh, brother, what a noble cause. You could go fucking read a book. But we spent so much money on our appearance. We only had enough left for one of those drinks. We don't have anywhere near enough to buy books. Y'all wasted your life savings just to wear NPC outfits. If at some point with the next few years, those two don't at some point on screams on the screen, we're blasting off again. I'm going to be disappointed. Same. Well, you can't just take over this photo board for yourselves because it's free and you don't have any money. Other people have the right to use it, too. I guess when you put it like that, I can kind of see where you're coming from. So come on! Let someone else have their turn already! Um... Um... <laughs> but you know full well that the Arataki gang has a reputation to uphold. If I say I'm gonna make the most out of this board, then I have to live up to my words. If we just scrap our plan like that, we'd be going against our word. A gang's gotta have integrity, or it does huge damage to your prestige. Oh, they spent all their money on Ito's clothes. Okay, see, now that makes sense. <clears throat> that being said, we won't have to worry about any of that if we can settle this the Arataki way. The Arataki way, huh? Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Please don't put your dick in the board. So I, Arataki numero uno Ito, challenge you to an all-out, no-holds-barred, anything-goes-duel. Bruh. If you win... I will leave this board alone. Since you already donated towards me before, you want to test something? Use PayPal's onboard currency calculator. You're going to donate exactly as it says $1. You can find out the exact one to one on the use. So hopefully you can still manage to make your commission work, even with your bank's log being all wonky. <laughs> Fair enough, Fusion. Happy to help if, uh, if doing that helps you out. A gang needs integrity! When are you guys going to pick that up? Oh, beetle fighting is an awesome idea. Just so happens I caught myself a true beast of an Oni Kabuto the other day. I call it Demon of Darkness. Of fucking course that's what you call it. What else would I expect? Unfortunately, I didn't bring Demon of Darkness with me today. <laughs> so... <laughs> well, that doesn't seem too bad. The contest is putting your dick in this board. So, how are we gonna do this duel? Uh, let's think. Um, yeah. Ugh, wow, this is a this is a tough nut to crack. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about mm -hmm. Owain. Yeah, <laughs> I need an Owain and Odin or uh, Owain and uh, Ito team up, team up now, please. Hey, look! Isn't that Toma? Guess he's here for the festival too. Boy! Why don't we ask Toma how to do this duel? Hi, man, bets he has tons of ideas. Toma! Yo, house husband! Hey, Traveler and Paimon. It's the male wife. Everyone's favorite. What a nice surprise meeting you guys here. <sighs> well, I heard that a certain well-known individual had made an appearance at the festival. <laughs> Tell them must be here for the festival! The I fucking live here! 
Since the Yashiro Commission is the host of this festival, I felt I simply had to come and meet them in person. Hmm. Red horns. If I'm not mistaken, you must be the esteemed Arataki Ito, leader of the widely renowned Arataki Gang. Is that right? <laughs> Toma, my bro, your eyes do not deceive you. Ito, not every single person who tolerates your presence is automatically your bro. And you are the housekeeper extraordinaire of the Kamisato clan. You're quite the celebrity yourself, you know. Well, I'm flattered, Ito. And it's nice to meet you, too, um, bro. <laughs> Don't encourage him, oh no. Whoa. There's a serious bro <laughs> <in> here. <laughs> Don't call him that. You're gonna make the Fujas mad! <laughs> they already- You're gonna make the Fujas mad! They've already drawn their lines! They ship Ito with Goro and they ship Tomo with Ayato. <laughs> You're gonna piss off the Fujas, Paimon! What are you doing?! I didn't expect to run into both Ito and the Traveler here. Tomo be like a what now? <laughs> Speaking of which, I kind of count as the host here. So is anything wrong? Don't worry, you can tell me anything. Took a screenshot of the bromance line, good. It's all Ito! He wants to- Uh, no, 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 it's no, no, it's no big deal. We were just about to have a duel, and, uh, we're trying to think of what format it should take. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duh! Oh, a duel. In that case, I have a suggestion. Since your duel is taking place at the Iridori Festival, why don't you have a volunteering competition? What is this? What is this, OG Power Rangers? Community service is the contest? What the fuck? Then you can both do your part for the Iridori Festival while settling your duel at the same time. What do you think? Reminds me of Paimon licking a laugh after saying bro in the last event. I remember that, good God. Volunteering competition? I, uh, it sounds a little low-key. Not quite hard or enough for the Arataki. Hopefully this shows one whole buck. Indeed it does, Fusion. Test successful. Thank you very much. I hope that, uh, I hope that's what, that, that is what you wanted to happen, it looks like, yeah. So hopefully that should sort out your, uh, uh, your commission and whatnot. I give this idea an interest rating of, uh, two points. One for the Traveler, one for Toma. <laughs> Boss means, uh, two points out of a hundred. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this job isn't the most high stakes, that's for sure. It just takes a little patience and responsibility. Oh no, the World Conference for Peace and Picking Up Litter is being attacked. <laughs> That's almost as bad as the attacks on the abandoned warehouse district. Also, since it's volunteering, by definition, there's no remuneration. All you'll get is this special edition drink from Sailing Breeze, as a small token of appreciation. Toma, there is no way Ito knows what that word means. One buck USD comes out to 126 Canadian through PayPal, though technically it's one point. Uh, one, yeah, 1.25. Just because of routing nonsense, though? Ah, okay. Makes sense. On second thought, this is nowhere near enough for the prestigious Arataki gang. I don't know what I was thinking. Wait, 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 wait a <laughs> second. What's the part about the, uh, token of appreciation? Wait, if, we, if I win, I do get the birthday cake shake? Sweet! Oh, it's just a special edition drink produced by Yai Publishing House and Sailing Breeze. It's I doubt anyone really knows what I'm talking special. about because I don't even know how widespread Zaxby's is as a restaurant. They're not good, by the way. Do not, if you have a Zaxby's, I do not recommend them. Their chicken is super fucking dry and kind of gross. But um, at one point, they had a limited edition birthday cake milkshake that was pretty goddamn good. Boss, that's the one! If we take this gig, we'll get that drink! I never eat there precisely because I hate their food, but I don't think they make it anymore. Oh, so, uh, Toma, my bro, my guy, my dude, maybe I can explain <laughs> properly. When I said two points, that's out of a total of two. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Had to restart the app, you should no worries. Good fucking God, I love Max Middleman. If there's one thing the Arataki gang is known for, I kid you not, it's our patience and responsibility. I don't believe you. It's an awesome idea. Totally hardcore. Practically tailor-made just for me. <laughs> Traveler, let's do this for our duel, huh? It'll be amazing. Whoever volunteers the hardest wins. What do you think? 
Their milkshake brought all the me's to the yard. You didn't seem too interested in it just a second ago. If you want the drink, just ask for it, bruh. We've got a bromance going on. It's guy love between two guys. Hey, this is the mighty Arataki above all bold-blooded Ito you're talking to here. I'm a say what I mean, mean what I say, might sound mean, but I say it anyway kind of guy. And I say, <laughs> we're gonna have this duel. <laughs> oh, I really hope Max did this all in one take. What a fucking king. AKA doesn't want people to know he's only doing it for the drinks kind of guy. If it's decided, then allow me to take the role of your judge. The volunteer work is simple. You just need to give your help to people who need it during the festival. I will assign some job requests that I've already received to you. If you're ready, we can begin. Bruh. Okay, our first job is to help a busy vendor. His stand is just nearby. Are you the volunteers? I will Perfect help by timing. standing on your table. Do you like that? <laughs> you fucking like this, you piece of shit? As you can see, there's a lot of dust and dead leaves around my stand. <laughs> I can balance one foot off without shaking. Are you a brat? I've just been so busy with my customers these past few days. I keep meaning to sweep up, but I Who's clapping? Found a spare moment. Stop clapping, assholes. Can you help me clean up the place, please? Thank you so much. Stop clapping! Wind strike. You're finished already? Wow, you work hard. Yeah, I have a kazoo. You're wonderful people, all you volunteers. Thank you so much. Our next job is to help the visitor. Hey, miss, come and help me. They're clapping because I was on the table. Hey, Kajirai, fancy meeting you here at the Ew. festival. But we don't have time to play games with you right now. I'm not playing games. I'm in trouble. Oh, wait, is this the kid who made us do that little mini game where we had to find the thing he hid? I heard they were selling a new kind of tamari at the festival. Oh, it is. So oh, I actually do know I this kid. Okay. Check it out. I remember hide the tamari. But... I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I went and lost my current one. <laughs> it's gotta be nearby. I, I still had it a moment ago. Oh no, don't tell me I have to actually find a kid. I don't remember how to do this. Can you help me, miss? <sighs> so basically, every time we run into you, we have to go to Mari hunting. That one whole dollar is for sure gonna be your last superfluous purchase until Friday. Still more than you should just pay sock on all honesty. Just have a good chunk of paid stuff coming up, meaning you wanted to buy lunches. Understandable fusion, yeah. No worries. Glad he at least figured out how the conversions work. Um. Oh. Oh, okay, it's not the same. There it is. Ah! Ah! Mm. Oh my god, he's actually gonna beat me. Great! Oh, now I can play the Tamari game again. I'm Thanks, taking too long, miss. apparently. I don't know how they expect you to do this any faster than that. Like, I probably fucked up by not getting both of the, uh, the leaves in Kazuha's thing. But other than that, I actually don't know what I could have done faster. Time Jesus go. Christ, Gito. Are you the festival volunteers? Oh, great. I was just wondering what to do about these goods. It's been really busy lately, and all the workers at the port are swamped. But I have to get all this fresh soy milk delivered to the warehouse as soon as possible. It'll go bad if it's left outside too long. Is this secretly the Dragon Ball training arc where Goku and Krillin had to deliver milk? Can you please help me take it to the warehouse? My co-worker Takeuchi will be waiting for you there. Thank you so much. Hey look, I'm the first bleach opening. <laughs> Ito did things faster than you two? Okay. As long as I can still beat- Oh hey! Oh hey, it's uh, it's NPC Miko. <laughs> Fucking loser. Oh no. 
Time to go. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you must be the volunteers here to save the day. Exactly, yeah. Ito has three three guys helping him. We only have a Paimon. You must be tired. Put down the goods and have a rest. I heard the Yashiro Commission has arranged for Sailing Breeze to prepare some special drinks for the volunteers as a way of saying thank you. Soy milk is actually one of the ingredients for the drink. It's freshly made every day. In fact, the last batch of soy milk we processed has just been sent over. You'll get to try it very soon. What? So Sailing Breeze's special drink has soy milk in it? Ito won't be able to drink that! Hurry! We've got to get to Sailing Breeze before he does! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, this is scripted. He'll always win first, and then we have to stop him from making himself comatose. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh no! I've been here ages. Completed my tasks a long time ago. As long as no nonsense happens, you should be able to just cleanly multiply 1.26 by cost of commission, and PayPal will handle the rest. Okay, yeah, that's good. So there you have it. When volunteering is the name of the game, no one volunteers harder than Arataki Ito. Ito, no, you don't understand. You're gonna die. You lose, I win. And to the victor go the special edition spoils. <laughs> hey, best. Ito's gonna fucking die. No, sweetie, your tummy can't handle it. I flicked one of those things in his forehead once, and he almost cried. What the fuck do you think he's gonna do if some of it actually gets inside of his tummy? Behold. The Drink of Champions, created by Sailing Breeze in collaboration with Yai Publishing House, and as featured in the popular work, Pretty Please Kitsune Gucci. This is what you get for being a weeb. Never mind, you deserve the tummy ache. Woo, all this talk's making me thirsty. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Eat out Drink of Champions, it's time to come home. Wait, those are beans! Also, oh, that commercial eat. <laughs> The good stuff. Well, that was a mighty fine drink. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Although, maybe it was past its prime. Oh no. Boss, they said they think there might be uh, b beans in the drink. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Doctor! Medic! What's wrong? Can't Arataki Ito drink soy products? Jesus fucking Christ. He's allergic to beans! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, uh, quick, grab Ito and follow me. I'll get a doctor. I sure hope it's not Where the serious. fuck is Shinobu? She's supposed to be a healer! I'm sorry. I didn't even consider this possibility. It was all my fault. Leave Ito to me. I'll make sure he stands again. Don't worry. I'll see you later. Oh my fucking god. So, your friend is allergic to beans. It's a very rare condition, though I have heard about it. I'm so sorry that our drink caused such a problem. I feel terrible. If you don't mind, please take this. This is a special drink formula with no soy milk. Gunter Insurer Support has a couple of glitches, and it's also a bit wordy. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. About to start the bean hunt decree. That <laughs> make that the title. I'm right. I'm writing it down. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I could see that your friend enjoyed this drink a lot. Although it tastes slightly different without the soy milk, I'm sure this version will be more suitable for your friend. Aww. Please accept it, along with our sincere apologies. <laughs> you almost murdered a man. <laughs> Is that actually it? <laughs> this is. That's actually the end. Ito went into a fucking coma and died. We've all been speculating. Ever since I started also playing Honkai, we've all, we've all been speculating. Oh man, who's going to be the Himiko of this game? It turns out, it was Ito. It was Ito all along. Never let you go. Time to go. Tragic. Absolutely tragic. I was gonna say, right? Like, bold of- like, I like how she's like, Oh, I'll make you a non-soy version this time. Like, bold of you to assume he'll be alive. <laughs> oh my god. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, we've got a nice-ass mural going. We've got wasted brain holes. 
Uh, water nerd. Who are the rest gonna be? I'm kind of sad that Itez is done. That means that he's not gonna be one of them. I don't know who the rest of them are gonna be. <laughs> Air share of beans. <laughs> Ito is resurrected as the air share of beans. Jesus Christ. Terrifying. Worst case scenario, even if the conversion process takes a little off the top, the artist willing to accept payment in two parts. Okay, yeah, that's good. Oh dear. Clee, maybe? I hope. I hope Clee comes back around to be in the plot at some point. Nightclub face from behind a bathroom door in the screams of agony. <laughs> Ito died of diarrhea on the toilet. Time to go. <laughs> oh, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. It's a way for him to go, actually. There's two left. There is two left. Alrighty. Eh. Alright, so that's done. Muffled my glow in the distance. Alright, we've got two more legs to this event. I think. It looks like five, but I think it's actually two. Not sure when we'll be back. It depends on what my schedule's looking like. I do need to actually... I, I'm planning on actually starting Persona 2 at some point next week, pro uh, Tuesday. I don't know for sure what I'm doing tomorrow, but, um... Time to go. But I can also do Theater Mechanicus now. Yay! I'll probably do that off screen. Theater Mechanicus is alright, but I'm also bad at it. Follow the wind. And very often need to look up tutorials. <laughs> but alright, that was good. Obviously, always great to see Ito. Always great to see Male Wife. Uh, Shingcho is fine. I kind of wish he brought other people with him, but it is what it is. He's the big free unit for this festival, so. Leg 3 is on the 11th. Okay, alright, that's Monday. So, definitely won't be doing it day one. Well, we'll see. Howdy, howdy, Kronos. Welcome to the shit show. Although, I'm just getting ready to wrap up here. Unless there's anything I can do. I don't think there is. I could be stupid and do another YOLO single on the standard banner. Try and fix my lack of gene. Could start the watch early and do Genshin after? Uh, maybe. I don't even know how many... How, do we still... I think we still have to watch 13 episodes a week with Death Note. Yeah, I think it's like 37 or 39 or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. As long as I can... I don't know. I don't know if I can finish Tiger and Buddy tonight or not. We're gonna try. <laughs> We're gonna try our gosh dangdest. I made a haha funny -ha Yu-Gi-Oh joke earlier, but what kind of play style do I think Ito might have within Yu-Gi-Oh? Feels like a fun discussion. Well, remember, my decks are super outdated. I have no concept of Yu-Gi-Oh beyond, uh... Beyond, uh, what's it called? Also, also, that's a, that's a very close to being cursed number of Primo Gems. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, who wants to join? Leave me alone. <laughs> Surely oh, enough to oh, convince no. anyone to become a wanderer. No. <laughs> I'm getting ready to end. Fair enough that you feel like general play styles are easy enough to grasp basing on the same mechanics. Oh, totally. But yeah, I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, I don't know what he'd use. Something stupid and meme -y. Aww. <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> the fuck is that cursed, uh, that cursed sucrose? Ethan would play Blue Eyes. He'd play something cursed, yeah. He'd play either, um... What's it called? He he'd play, like, Monjomas or something! I don't know who you are! I'm Time sorry, I don't know who you are that's trying to join, but I'm, uh... I'm wrapping up anyway. I don't have anything I can do in co-op. <laughs> because he thinks Blue Eyes is cool, but he doesn't realize how inconsistent it is there. That seems about right. Okay, all right. Let's do, uh, we'll do one. We'll do one to get off the cursed number. Oh, I have Star Glitter. 
Good God. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's... I'm not sure if that's somebody in the stream or not, but if you're doing that, you need to stop. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Got me all frazzled now. Okay, I have to assume they're doing it on purpose. It doesn't matter. I'm ending after this anyway. All right. I'm allowed one YOLO single pump. It's okay. I didn't even waste any of my gems. I had some star glitter. I had some star glitter. <laughs> this person won't leave me alone. It's fine. <laughs> Yay, it's fucking nothing. It's the kind of honk I play as expected when playing Genshin. Ah, okay. That's fair. You walked in and I was summoning. It was just one YOLO single. It was just a cheeky single. It's fine. Bruh. Devin. Go away. <laughs> Let them in now for shits and giggles? Nah, I'm stopping. How do I block people? I'm unironically ready to block this person. Hmm. Cheeky singles. New time on. I pass by you. Yeah, look at my actual friends. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get going so this person leaves me alone. <laughs> no YOLO Tedpool. Again, YOLO Tedpools are only for gift subs, so I'm not doing any more than that one cheeky single. All right, other than that, good event. 10 out of 10. Actually focusing on the characters. Good shit. Thank y'all for coming out. We currently have no go-kart and above patrons. If you want to help support... Genshin adding an option to block people <laughs> without actually adding them. <laughs> Check out the links in the description. <laughs> Love you guys. Nighty night. Fuck you, Devin.